Howdy y'all, Beardy Carpenter here. Today I'd like to share with you a little bit about some of the axes that I've got. There's been some questions in the in the comments and uh, they were these people were wondering about the tools, if I would show and share tools that uh, we would be using in a cabin build and, and yes, I definitely want to do that. And I'm just uh, going to show you a few of the axes that I've got. I like to collect tools and after I did our first cabin build, I kind of became a toolaholic and started collecting and restoring old woodworking tools that would be used in a log building. I love these old tools and I'm always on the lookout for stuff, but I've pretty much got everything that I, I need. I really don't have to collect anymore. It's just kind of a passion I've got about old tools. In building a cabin in the old days, there, there were many cabins built using nothing but, a, but an axe. There were many trapper hunter Cabin, uh, cabins that were built with uh, just just a single axe and the, these cabins weren't really built to last they were just built to shelter a, a trapper or a long hunter through a, a winter season and they were built right on the ground they didn't peel the bark off and they would just uh, put mud in the chinking gaps and stay in it through the winter then they would move on to a new territory or a new hunting ground perhaps later on another hunter or trapper would come through and use the cabin for a while but for the most part these cabins just kind of faded away but the cabin that we want to build we want to build something that's going to last for generations i just want to share with you a little bit about the axes this little axe here was an axe that i used get the sheet off of it to, uh, to build our cabin. Actually, the only log building tools that I had as far as working with logs was a chainsaw, it was just a small Johnson red, it wasn't a big saw, and this little boy's ax. Now, this is about a, I don't know, maybe a two pound head. Uh, this is not the original handle. It does have what's referred to as the, the Fawn's foot handle. And I was watching Old school with a modern twist. You need to check this guy out. He, he lives up in Ohio. His name's James, and uh, he has a little homestead. And he has several axes and that he's, he's worked on and restored. And he's made some of the most beautiful leather sheaths that you ever see for his axes. He does wood carving. He does uh, blacksmithing. He, he's just an exceptional gentleman. And he had some questions about handles. And there was one comment said that the curve of the handle gave it more thrust when it was when when you swung the axe into a tree or a log or whatever you were chopping it gave it more leverage and i thought that was really a, a good explanation and i appreciated him for what he said there but you need to check out old school with a modern twist he's really an interesting gentleman uh, he's in the process of building a forge, and I've always wanted to build a forge, so I'm really watching him close. <laughs> this little axe here has done a lot of chopping. I've, I've used it for a lot of different things. Uh, I've used it for scoring, for cutting juggles out, and which we'll get into later on when we start the cabin build, which is not going to be too far off. We're getting everything together for that right now. But I have not really retired this axe. I just don't use it as much as I used to. It, this, this is a double bit axe. These, this is a, what's called a single pole or a single bit axe. Uh, this is the cutting edge and this is referred to as the pole. I want to show you something, if I can get the sheath off of it, that is my pride and joy. This axe is a keen cutter keen cutter right here uh, stamped into the, the pole. It's got a straight grain ash handle. I found this axe in Pennsylvania. If you look at the pole of it, if the lady can zero in, this has never been hammered on. It, the edges are really crisp and you can still see the three and three quarters stamped into the, the pole. That's the weight of this axe. This axe has the original handle in it and it's never been sharpened. There's a little bit of rust on it, but I was very fortunate to find this axe. This would be, I would consider this as a collector's item and I don't use it. I just have it. I don't really ever use it. 
just a few times I've used it where I wanted it's got a fairly light, wide blade on it here quite a bit wider than this little axe and I would just use it to put score marks and logs where I was just taking the surface off of the broad axe now this axe is referred to as a is a double bit axe I didn't even know that I bought this axe I know that may sound a little bit funny but I was at a, a farm estate sale a good many years ago and there was actually a foot ads that I wanted that was there and they lumped a whole bunch of stuff in just pasteboard boxes and this axe happened to be in that box and I didn't even know it was in there so I bought it for oh I think it was like 10 or 15 dollars quite a few things and I ended up with with this axe the foot ads which really wasn't any count and a draw knife that I didn't know was in the in the box of goodies but this is a Vaughn double bit axe now I finally found a handle a shorter handle that I like and put in it I have really become partial to this this particular axe I didn't have to have it retempered didn't have to do anything to it except just sharpen it with a with a nice handle and the reason I like this axe is when I'm doing a demonstration and I'm taking a, a round log making a timber out of it or a, a wall log I like to use this axe it's got a little bit of weight to it and this particular edge here is the one that I actually chop with I don't know if you can see that it's got a thinner thinner edge on it and after I cut the v-notch in, in the log I'll turn the axe around and I'll take this edge which has a more of a blunt edge it's sharp but it, it's it's not as steep an angle as this edge and I can hit the bottom of the, the juggle there two or three times and it'll pop off and I, I really gotten to where I like this sax. I really enjoy using it. It's got a nice weight, nice balance to it. Now I wanted to show you some other axes here. The single bit and the double bit axe. They're fairly common, fairly easy to find and I've got some here that I wanted to show you. If, if you're looking for an older axe that you can fix up and use, I wanted to show you some that you might want to stay away from. If you happen to see them in an antique store or flea market and you, you can find these axes around but sometimes you're going to put quite a bit of labor and, and time and effort in getting these axes to where you can actually use them these were some axes that were given to me by my wife's grandfather this is a uh, a true temper kelly kelly works company made this and if you look at this axe it's it somebody really really abused it it's been hammered on here and the edges look like they were chopping rocks with it it would take a lot of work to get this this axe to where you could ever use it so if you run across something like that unless you just want something to hang on the wall just to look at I would just leave it you, you kind of wasting your money this is another Kelly axe it's got flint edge stepped on here it's got a little bit of rust a little bit of pit on it but this axe could really be put back in working order uh, there's a fellow that I've become friends with on YouTube and his channel is Rock of Ages USA it's amazing what he can do with an axe he has taken old axes and, and cut them off and welded new cutting edges on them and make some really really beautiful handles so that's a channel that I would appreciate it if you would check him out it's Rock of Ages USA he, he does chainsaw carving and some other stuff too really good guys a good steward of the land and I've, I've really become good friends with him on, on YouTube and hopefully one of these days I'll get to shake his hand but that, this is a single bit axe and it also is a Kelly and you can see the pole has been hammered it's been really abused somebody hit something really hard and broke a chip out of it now I don't have the means or the skill to restore an axe like this but I believe if this axe was in the hands of Rock of Ages he could put this axe back in working order and make a, a really nice handle this is just an old handle that's broken off but these were just given to me and I just have them I don't have any intentions of doing anything with them I just wanted to show you these axes to show you what 
what you might stay away from if you're wanting an old axe and what you might look at and think well that can be repaired and, and put back in working order. I want to thank you all for stopping by and watching and I ask that you share these videos and hit the little thumbs up and if you've got something to say leave a comment. I really enjoy reading the comments and I like to reply to, to all of them that I possibly can. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.